Following a careful risk assessment to establish that the patient is not hurt but unable to get up, we will see a full back padded sling being used for a floor to chair transfer. Begin by folding the sling in half. Use the purple markers to position the sling centrally under the patient's back, aligning the base seam level with the sacral area of the spine. Tuck the top half of the sling under the patient before gently rolling them back. Roll the patient gently to the other side so the second carer can pull the rest of the sling through easily. Using good postures, move to the leg pieces and tuck them under each leg. If the sling is slightly too large for the patient, use an extra modesty strap to keep the legs together. This makes the commode aperture underneath the sling a little smaller and stops the patient sinking through. Bring the lift in at a slight angle to the patient and as close to their head as possible, bringing the pillow up behind their head if necessary. For this manoeuvre, the brakes will need to be applied. Bring the cradle down so that it's level across the patient's chest and at a height where the straps are easy to attach. For a good sitting position, the shortest loops are used at the shoulders and longer ones at the legs. It may be necessary to bend the knees up to attach the leg straps. Reassure the patient while beginning the lift and control any movement as you gently lift them from the floor. As you raise the lift, the sling may move slightly as the patient slides into a sitting position. When ready, move to the back of the lift and remove the brakes. Remove the pillow and rotate the patient to a comfortable position. Use the push pad to initiate forward movement. Hold the lift at a comfortable height and keep square to the load as you move. Once in position above the chair, gently lower the patient. Pushing back slightly on the front of their tibia will help to position them to the back of the chair.